are one of three. I am, yeah. You've got an older brother and sister. Mm -hmm. And what was your childhood like? Oh, wow. Um, we are going back to the beginning. Yeah. Um, childhood was happy. It was happy and um, safe and supported. Yeah, that's a safe is such a beautiful word yeah. to think of your childhood. Yeah, a friend of mine, um, his father at his 30th birthday recently spoke about giving your children a safe harbour in life. Mm. Um, and that's exactly what my mum did for, for the three of us. Yeah. Um, but it was a good childhood. It was normal, you know, siblings at each other, siblings at mum, mum at the siblings, you know, yeah. with, at the children. It was, um, it was fun. And we, you know, we had every opportunity as well. Mum made sure that we were always throwing our hat in the ring for everything. But I don't know, I suppose, let me try to paint a visual for you. Um, so Cooparoo in Brisbane, which is suburban, in a city, maybe five k's from the city. Yeah. Um, old Queenslander house, massive Beautiful. backyard on a slope, which was really good for um, tarpauling down. What's tarpauling? Like slip and slide. Yeah, slip and sliding down, but not with the fancy slip and slide with the tarpaulin oh, and the palm oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. I just did that with my kids the other day. Got a slip and it's slide, so and we're like, fun. they're not going anywhere. So I said, go get the shampoo, and yeah. we just shampooed it straight down. And the like hill. a two-year-old just going, yeah, flew for miles. Unfortunately, we had a rather rugged garden bed at the bottom the hill so you'd go head first into mm, the bushes and the weeds beautiful yeah um remember you'd hear all those horror stories of like people would put pegs in yeah like well, on the slip and slides and then the knees would go and stuff yeah oh. that didn't happen at our okay house, good actually. yeah that would have been a really like good that. story though Next my brother time was pretty asking. wild but not that wild yeah right um so and big you know big wraparound yard and a deck at the back although that came much later in life when mum did a bit of an extension um but you know, it was a proper Queenslander house with the floorboards that you can see through to the, the ground oh, wow, below. Yeah, so yeah. in winter, the draft was kind of severe. Yeah. Um, and in summer, the house was so hot. Um, they build those houses for Queensland conditions, but they're actually Not. probably the worst possible yeah, yeah. setup. Um, but yeah, and then our cousins were all in the same suburb. My mum and her sisters all stayed in Cooparoo. Oh, they were born beautiful. and bred in Cooparoo. We all grew up in Cooparoo with our cousins, like brothers and sisters as well. So. Yeah, we were really lucky. We had a, a really fun upbringing um, yeah. and lots of holidays on the Gold Coast and yeah. Did, Coast did you go to Dreamworld and SeaWorld and Movie World? Oh no, that was a bit expensive. Um. Um, sometimes we, <laughs> some, no, sometimes we, sometimes we would go to. I remember uh, Grundy's. Gr oh, I don't think I ever went to Grundy's. Oh, and like, um, is it Cavalav? Was it Cavalav? Is Cavalav oh, yeah, in Caval SA or in no? Cavalav's at Surfers Paradise. It's oh my a god. Strip. So we, didn't, we didn't go to the Glitter Strip. Oh, because my grandparents had a place in Surface, so oh, every yeah. holidays we'd go up and we'd be those greedy pigs at like Dreamworld before it would open and then... So down the road from there is yeah. the Oasis Shopping Centre at Broadbeach. Yes! And that was more Ousby with the monorail that yeah, would go around. and the butterfly in there. And putt-putt at the top. Yes! And there was a carousel in the middle that used to be free and then it gradually became more, you know, I think it's up to $1.50 or something now, right? But, um, but yeah, we used to hang down at the Oasis and we used to also sneak into um, the Jupiter's Casino swimming oh, pool. Amazing. And at a time we had to have the swipe to get in. So we'd all stand there in a big pack, our cousins and the neighbours from the other unit. And we'd stand there and wait for someone to come out so we could sneak, sneak in and in. swim in the match. That was just like Nirvana for a kid. Remember Dracula's over the road? Oh, uh, yeah, I never went oh, there either. Neither, but I wanted to go so badly that yeah. you had to be 18, and I was like, And then eight. by the time you got to 18, yeah, I don't like, want to oh, go to Dracula's. I'm not doing that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to Cavill Avenue. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, how old were you when your parents divorced? Um, I was just. Uh, I was three, three going on four. They actually never divorced, just separated. Right. Um, yeah, so I was three, so my sister uh, would have been about eight and my brother ten. Right. Mm. Do you have any memories of that time? Um, oh, look, not, not really that time in particular. I guess, in a sense, I'm quite lucky that that all happened when I was really young because yeah. my family, as I know it, is mum and dad not together, yeah. um, but both very involved in my life, mm. um, and my brother and sister by my side. So m my family makeup has always been, as you, you know, as I remember it. Yeah. it. So um, probably in that sense, a bit more difficult for a 10 year old, yeah. um, being my brother at the time. Um, but that said, you know, nothing was terribly, um, I, don't, I don't remember any friction or, yeah. or too much tension or anything like that. Um, for me, like I said, I was three, so I think that's sort of all I remember. Yeah, I want because I was about five when my parents split up, so I was at that mm. age where you just like you kind of grasping onto your first memories almost. Yeah. Like I still vividly remember my parents sitting down and telling me, "Oh wow, yeah, that they were splitting up." Yeah. Um, but I was thinking when you know when you are three, 
if Pete, because also parent split up, you know, when kids are going in teenage years and mm. stuff like that. And I almost reckon that's harder. Uh, I've, I've always thought that, that you know, I've had a lot of friends who's, who've had their parents separate either in high school or even further down the track, you know, when they're in their 20s or they're yeah. perhaps starting up their own family at this point. Um, and I suppose in that sense, everything they've known in terms of their family construct yeah. is changing. Yeah. Um, and that's such a formative thing um, and such a firm foundation in your life. Totally. Um, yeah, I reckon so you dodged I, like I feel, oh, issues. I, yeah, and, and, and you know, three. and also, and, and why I wouldn't want them to stick it out just for the sake of no. the kids either in my, in my case, because, you know, we're a very honest family, a very real family, and I feel like no one's ever had to lie to us about anything and, yeah. um, and everything's out there on the table and nothing's a secret and it's, um, that's a nice way to be, I think. that Totally. It's, you know, it's also very rare. Like yeah. Families, like, so often you see families and you're like, oh my God, if you guys were just a bit more honest, none of this shit would exist. Yeah. The problems yeah. that happen, you know. Well, it makes, and it makes you a realist in life too, which sometimes, yeah. you know, I, I, I think that I'm a realist with most things. I mean, every, every girl kind of has certain dreams and fantasies and whatever, but I... Yeah. Um, I think that in life I'm very realistic about relationships and friendships and mm. family relationships and everything um, and that you know you might not speak to a friend for six months and then you'll pick up where you left off yeah. again the next time you see them yeah. and, um, and so perhaps I'm a low maintenance friend in that yeah. respect. Yeah, oh my god, they're the best though. Um, they are the best, yeah. I know, but um, I'm certainly not needy. I yeah. don't think so anyway. Others I'm, might disagree. Yeah, I like to think I'm not. I'm so fucking needy. Yeah. Like, I'm like, mm. Well, just with some things. Like, yeah, yeah. I need you to take the rubbish out occasionally. <laughs> 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 just totally. little things.